How important is it to win a game, you know, that lasts this long in a regional setting? Well, to win game two is why you set it up this way. I mean, if we had choices, I would have thrown him on game one and thrown somebody else game two. But uh, as I was second guessed by a lot of people, um, I threw Gavin yesterday and I threw him because I thought this was the game you have to win. And, uh, you know, it gives us a little rest until the next team. You know, if they got to come out and play tomorrow, then they got to play again tomorrow night. It takes its toll after a while, but uh, I think we got lucky. And you know what? I like luck. I like luck a lot. It, go ahead. Eshelman's no stranger to having high pitch counts, but 143 pitches tonight. I know he was rolling, but any doubt in your mind about leaving him out there? 143 or 133? 143. We had 133 counts, so I think Raphael was off by a few. And we count every one every inning. Um, but he, um, he wanted to finish the ninth, and uh, I'm not going to argue with him. Um, he's one of the best pitchers in the history of this program, and he wanted to go out there, and the ninth was it. And as you saw, he went out afterwards. But it was, um, you know, it was a valiant effort. I mean, he gave up one in the first and a solo home run in the second, and I think he pretty much carved him up from then on out. He got out of one jam. He, he's good. I mean, I don't care what the scouts say. The guy's going to pitch in the big leagues, and he's got a chance to pitch there for a while. In the sixth inning, runners on the corners, no outs. He gets strikes off the side there. Mm -hmm. What do you think about him showing emotion coming off the mound there? Uh, you know, usually you get a little sly smile, and that's about it from him. Well, I mean, he he had a couple times where he had some emotion, where he punched a guy out to end it. But um, the only other school to recruit him was Indiana, and, and Tracy was at Indiana at that point. Um, so you know, and and when he was younger, he actually played on a team uh, that Tracy coached. So. Um, you know, this was a big game for him, and you know he didn't get a win, but he got we got a win, and that's about all he goes for. Uh, going in, do you, uh, how solid do you feel about who you got to throw tomorrow night? Oh, I feel good. I mean, um, Seabold has thrown well um, since Garza's gone down. Uh, I don't think we've lost one of his games yet. I'm not totally that. Raph, I'm right. He's won every game. Um, you know. A couple weeks ago, he threw six shutout against UCLA and went to Hawaii and did the same or in the same week. And then he threw good against um, last weekend against Long Beach. And he's been good every time out. You know, the first inning is going to be hard. Uh, he's a freshman, chance to win a regional. It's a big deal for him. But, you know, I'm confident in him. I hope we can score some more runs tomorrow. Did, a little you, think, earlier. did you think of taking Eshwin out? going into the ninth? No, I, I, I said that we, uh, he said that he wanted to finish that thing. Um, so he knew the ninth was it, and we actually gave ourselves a chance to win it in the ninth, mm -hmm. to win it for him, but it didn't come up. And uh, then Peitzmeyer came in and did what he does. He did the same thing at that SC game um, earlier in the year that kind of turned our whole season around. And he had some big strikeouts in that, uh, in his outing out there too. And A.J. Kennedy blocking AJ blocked the poop out of it. I mean, he really, really <laughs> blocked well. And, uh, you know, we played good defense. You know, we missed the throw. and uh, AJ tried to put too much, but the guy scores anyways, because even if we don't throw it to third, the next guy got a base hit. So he's going to score anyways. Uh, but he tried to go a little fast. He, he went a little fast, but he slowed it down. I thought Hedges did a good job at the end, too. You know, it's a young kid in a big situation against a perennial power team. It was good for him.